Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to my Throwback Thursday video. My name is Todd Stanning. I am the man who takes people into the field and has them either live in Iraq with or eyewitness Sasquatch. I'm going to be redoing, doing reviews today of four videos. I'm going to bring some end to this debate over the reality or not of these videos 100%. We're going to have some fun today. Uh, this video in particular has been circulating around quite a bit on the internet and uh, I'm going to definitively prove to you its authenticity or not today 100% you might have seen my last week's videos uh, the two uh, interesting Sasquatch videos that were up online uh, I had some concerns about them that I didn't talk about last week and I will talk about them in detail this week and get to the bottom of this so uh, one thing I can promise you is this is going to be entertaining to say the very least so stay tuned So the first video we have here that I talked about last week is this one. I'm just going to let it play now. And as I said last week, uh, some of my colleagues thought there was power that was happening that was beyond the ability of a man, and it is not power beyond a man. And in fact, when you uh, look quite closely, I mean, it, it does sort of look costume-esque, like a, a bad kind of afro -y costume, and then looks like the, the face of a man, in my opinion. <clears throat> but remember... So this is the face of a man that looks grayish, but the, the outfit that's all around pretty much remains the same. So let's watch this video play in its entirety. And now here is the other video that I reviewed last week. And so this was a big red flag. So as you can see here, uh, as I zoom in on this section, that is clearly a known Sasquatch mask that you can purchase. The costume, the exterior costume is the same. You can see that clearly like the whole suit of it is the same, but instead of just painting the man's face gray, this time they just use that particular mask that you can put on. And if you still don't believe, so these are all the same videos. So this is the main video that went really quite viral and did well for this gentleman. And as we can see in this video, again, the Sasquatch is moving logs and stuff around and trying to show power beyond what a human can do, which it does not show. And I'll just let this video play. So like I said, that video got a lot of traction, got, you know, hundreds of thousands of views. All these videos accumulatively got hundreds of thousands, even on his channel, upwards of maybe into a million views, which is tremendously successful. And they're not real. They're fraudulent. If you have any doubt of that, <laughs> ready to have some fun. So here's that scene that we saw the Sasquatch in. What he's alleging here is that this crime scene is where human remains were found and he's... Uh, saying that they these humans were killed by a mountain beast or a Sasquatch or something. So this is supposed to be a forensic expert coming along here. We've we got to watch this. This is just really, honestly, just good for a laugh. Um, because, I mean, he's a, a blue, what is that, a recycling pail he's carrying? This is allegedly just outside of Banff somewhere. Um, and, you know, maybe it is. I don't know. It's, it's the wilderness somewhere for sure. But uh, so this guy comes along with a blue container and what is that, a hazmat suit or something? And that's supposed to be a police officer? And how did he get this? 
I mean, what's, the, what's his camera doing there filming this? And what, what's really extremely humorous to me, uh, you know, apologies, but uh, is so he'll pull up like what looks like a, a hand bone here. No big deal, right? Just, and plops it in the pail. And then, uh, <laughs> and then he finds a spine. <laughs> and, uh, and then finally, oh, look at that, a skull, and he just plops it back in the pail. So, yeah, <clears throat> so it's, it's uh, Sonny Vader, I believe is his name, and obviously uh, this is just a, a complete hoax and a joke that, uh, you know, it's maybe a little funny, I don't know. I have, I have a tendency to learn quite a bit from these videos in that things that, you know, I'll look for in an authentic Sasquatch video or, uh, you know, just ways that, that, that I can help identify because for, for me in my profession because I am a Sasquatch researcher it's it's important that I identify a truthful video look for something authentic with it and then move forward based on that information to even spend my time and my money uh, you know my resources or even someone I know to, to go out and investigate these alleged videos and whatnot because uh, we shouldn't lose heart I you know I, I'm thinking right now honestly it's looking like a good 80% of the videos I'm, I'm seeing here are, are clearly fraudulent. Um, you know, and again, there's lessons to be learned. Sasquatch don't do that. Sasquatch don't, don't, don't walk in a certain way. Their feet don't move in a certain way. You know, there's, there's a size that, that you, you can't really fake. I mean, for example, in my video three, that Sasquatch is nine feet tall and he's running faster than the fastest man in the world. The Patterson footage is so profound, so real on so many levels. I think the, uh, amongst the, the, the significant amount of evidence uh, that there is for that video, for me, the end resultant is that, that mid-tarsal joint in the foot. So in case you don't know, in the Patterson film, they got tracks after. And those tracks are in alignment, which is something that wasn't known at the time. And Jeff Meldrum has substantiated that truth in his bipedal expertise, the, uh, the physiology of bipedalism and how it would be advantageous and, and that the Sasquatch absolutely do that when they walk walking their feet are in alignment and that Patterson footage shows that which is as, as Jeff Meldrum explains it's counterintuitive, counterintuitive at the time because we didn't know that Sasquatch moved bipedally in alignment like that and I have personally seen that on multiple multiple occasions out in the field they walk in alignment like that the other thing that they didn't know is is there's when there's a mid-tarsal joint in the foot of the Sasquatch. And what happens is the joint can literally move like that. Our foot can't do that. So when that female Sasquatch in the Patterson footage, she, as through the foot stance, the five phases of the foot stance, at the end, she her foot does that. And what happens is it squeezes up a little patch of dirt in there. So it creates that, what looks like a pressure ridge. I don't know how you, you can't, the pressure ridge is showing that track. There's no way that Patterson and Bob Gimlin could have had any idea about the alignment and the pressure ridge. And, and I've seen female Sasquatch tracks that match those proportions precisely. So the pressure ridge, the walking in alignment, uh, the, the fortune, how fortunate was it that that Sasquatch walked on substrate that tracks could be cast? I mean, that was just nothing short of uh, absolutely miraculous. Probably the, the greatest piece of footage of all time. Most assuredly, I would say that even over mine, and that the evidence with the tracks are absolutely just renders it totally indisputable. And then you can see even in the footage, her foot, the way it bends like that. I mean, it's, it's blurry and it's, it's, it's vague a little bit, but it's clearly vividly. She is moving with that mid tarsal joint in the foot. Humans don't have that. They didn't, that wasn't known to exist in the anatomy until the eighties, much later. So it's literally at the time people would look at that and go, well, that, but that's fake because no foot looks like that because it wasn't known at the time. And now something that was counterintuitive that would have proven it ha having been a hoax at the time actually substantiates it as authentic, which is totally mind boggling. So the odds of the Patterson footage being real are literally like the evidence is just so the term beyond a reasonable doubt is is it's far, far, far beyond a reasonable doubt. It's absolutely 100 percent authentic. And, and, and I will I will state that with my knowledge and experience with Sasquatch, the Patterson footage is 100% authentic. And I'm finding other little things just from my experience, you know, the, the Florida footage that I have on my channel with that Sasquatch 
breaking a piece of wood that just the power i believe is non-human just unless they had some machine out there some hydraulics breaking snapping breaking wood the footage is is very poor i'm not comparing that to the patterson footage by any extent but i can't see how that would be un not authentic and then the eagle cam footage that i found and even uh, i was sent uh, a piece of footage that i have uh, originally on my channel specifically was well, a photograph of a sasquatch and i'm seeing uh, an adolescent male with the same hair that i've noticed in real life and, and so i also believe that's authentic so let's not lose heart with uh, these little hoaxes from here to here once in a while that we get you know the problem is that uh, youtube is monetizable and people make money that terrible hoax about the uh, gorilla skull you know that one is, is going to do is going to create a lot of damage when it comes to hoaxes with sasquatch because it made a lot of money got millions of views and for those of you who don't know you know when you get millions of views like that you get tens of thousands of dollars all a guy did was take a crappy gorilla skull throw it in the mud and say it's a sasquatch and it just picked up and went viral and that sets a really bad example out there to people that are that are hoaxers that are just out to to make a buck so those are this is these are the issues that we deal with uh doing this research i can't imagine uh, all the researchers that have come before me that that have so even even I find that in in interviewing people and talking with people, even in the interview process, I find them to be very inauthentic. A lot of times, too, I'll get people that really will, for lack of a better term, stalk and study me to the point where they take my own information and then use it to convince me that their alleged sighting or, or video is real. Uh, fortunately, there's a significant amount of evidence that I just I don't make public and I just conduct in interviews and and it's really it's always going to be like that. There's always new information that I'm learning and, uh, and will I get tricked and fooled? Absolutely. You know, I make mistakes, but uh, even even in the videos that I'm saying like this, this is definitively inauthentic. This is 100 percent a hoax. So I'm sorry if you still believe it's authentic. It's not. There's just no way any of that's real. Um, but there even the ones that I think, like the Florida one, I, I can be fooled on that. You know, the, the Eagle Cam one that I like, I just I just see too much there. You know, I, I'm maybe I would say 80% convinced the Eagle Cam footage that I have on my on my YouTube channel is also authentic. But am I 100%? Maybe not so much. Even with the Florida footage, I'm so convinced, 90% convinced that footage is authentic. However, when it comes to something like the Patterson footage, 100% authentic. So, and... Uh, so that's my show for today. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, lots more to come. Be good stuff this weekend on Sasquatch Sunday. My live shows are on Wednesday. Tune in if you have questions you'd like to ask me live and in person. That's what I do is I answer questions on the live show. So lots more to come. Take care.